afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Tuesday the 1st of November 2022 and tonight I'm heading down to Derbyshire for Chesterfield versus Gateshead in the National League. So I'm currently in Leeds, which is where I'm staying tonight, uh, basically uh, staying here so that in the morning I can just uh, jump straight on a train and then uh, get back in time for uh, going to my place of graft tomorrow. Uh, but when I get to the hotel room, I will do the match preview, then we will carry on our journey down to Chesterfield. So that is me in my hotel room. I'm staying in one of those easy hotels. I uh, stayed in one of these a few years ago when I went on a ground hopping weekend to the Netherlands just outside the Amsterdam Arena, which may or may not be a hotel that is familiar to you ground hoppers out there. But uh, going to this game tonight, Chesterfield are third in the National League table and uh, starting to get it back together again. Uh, they had a bit of a wobble uh, at the start of October, I think they lost three league games in a row or something like that. Uh, two of those were at home, but they seem to have rectified that now and are heading back in the right direction. As for us, uh, we are still in 22nd place after Saturday's draw with Solly Hull, but uh, overall, uh, plenty of positives to take from the overall performance. And it looks as though tonight we may have one or two more players coming back coming back into the team, uh, I know one of them will be uh, Greg Ollie, who's uh, served, who's now served his one-match ban. Uh, fingers crossed as well, uh, Owen Bailey can come back into the side. But uh, yeah, let's be honest, it's not the sort of game that our season is going to be determined by. But uh, it would be nice to get to get some sort of result, but against the side that that are desperate to get out of this league and uh, could well get out of this league. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not, I'm not exactly holding my breath, but as long as uh, we go out there, we give it a good go and uh, there's plenty of positives to take from the overall display, then they can't really ask for much more than that, can you? Uh, but looking forward to this tonight. Um, last time I was down at Chesterfield was in September of 2018 and a 3-0 win, uh, one of our Probably one of my best ever away days following Gateshead. Uh, can't foresee it being that straightforward tonight, but all the same, hopefully it'll be a good evening of football that we can take plenty of positives out of. Let's get the train down to Chesterfield, then let's head to the Technique Stadium and find out how it all unfolds. <laughs> So the team's warming up, uh, Chesterfield getting ready down there, they're going to be in their usual blue shirts and white shorts this evening, and Gates are getting ready down here, uh, going to be in the uh, in our home kit tonight. We never tell you these things. No, no. Out. 
time Chesterfield won the gates had won uh, I must say I do really worry about our strategy of uh, playing out from the back uh, one of these days it's uh, gonna completely catch us out and it has caught us out a couple of times already um, and at this sort of level uh, you can't really afford to take those risks but uh, absolutely superb effort so far There's not absolutely nothing wrong on that front and it was an absolutely superb goal to uh, give us a lead uh, just the problem is uh, we just didn't really react to going ahead properly if you get what i mean like we seemed to get a little bit giddy and uh, it wasn't too long before chesterfield were back level he's just completely ghosted in and barely even had to jump for his header um, then uh, we've sat off them quite a lot they've had a lot of the ball but haven't been able to break us down there have uh, been a few offside decisions uh, their fans are getting quite Restless with the referee, I think uh, they'll want in either Magne or maybe Oli or Bailey, someone sent off for an instant uh, in, in the box, uh, I think it was after a corner of ours, um, I mean I didn't see what, what happened and uh, I'll have to see it again but uh, let's just say they weren't happy about it at all um, and as well uh, there's been a few sides I disagree with but uh, I think if it carries on like this they do have to feel as though it's surely only a matter of time before Chesterfield do find a way to break us down but as I say uh, can't complain at all at the effort so far it'll be interesting to see if we make any changes to give us a little bit more up front uh, but yeah uh, let's just see how the second half goes <laughs> Steve tonight Monty Paul 
one minutes of added time at the end of this game. Full time, just to field two, Gates had one. I don't believe in free hits when it comes to the league, but I wasn't expecting a great deal tonight. But uh, that being said, uh, the fact that our goalkeeper was man of the match for us and the fact that we didn't even get, get a shot off in the second half uh, is definitely cause for concern. I mean, it wasn't through lack of effort or anything like that. Um, and you've got to bear in mind we have... Uh, Played away at a very good team that will be up there uh, by the end of the season. But, um, but yeah, uh, there just seems to be a real lack of ideas within the team at the minute. And uh, a lack of confidence as well, uh, it has to be said. And uh, it's you do have to wonder where the next win is coming from. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, uh, our season was never going to be judged on what we did at Chesterfield away. And uh, you look at what, what we've got between now and Christmas. We've got six games between now and Christmas. And when you look at the matches we do have between now and then, uh, I think you have, maybe has, has to be said that eight points has to be a minimum requirement. Uh, we're second bottom in the table now, uh, deservedly so. Uh, the, the table doesn't lie and there's a reason why we're in that position but uh but the fact is it is still only two points we're, we are still only two points off of safety so it's not a total disaster of yet but as i say um like we just need something to um just install a bit of confidence back into the players back into the fans just back into everyone really uh, we've got uh, the FA Cup at the weekend, albeit uh, it, it's a, against a, a team doing very well in the league above, so you maybe have to say that that game is a free hit. But uh, if we can make a good account of ourselves in that, and uh, and and and, uh, and be able to take some positives in, back into the league, then they you maybe have to realistic realistically say you would take that um but i think uh our oh, sort of main issues at the minute definitely are up front and uh obviously you know, we sold paul blackett to spenny mill which uh, is a decision that received a major backlash on twitter and uh, i'm not happy about it either um i think we're going on and on and on about uh injuries and uh, lack of personnel yet we're yet, yet we're selling someone that's that was actually scoring goals for us it doesn't really make sense does it and and as well as uh if you think about that game at maidenhead he didn't score in that game but uh, his work rate and everything was absolutely phenomenal so uh really baffling decision that uh, i'm not gonna lie but uh i'll we'll just have to see how it goes from now on it's not a nice situation to be in it would like i'm sick of getting beat all the time uh it would be nice to get a win in the league for once um but yeah uh, as i say i wasn't expecting a great deal tonight uh come up against a very strong team of experienced players experienced manager and so on it was always going to be a tall order but um but it, it, it is what it is, and, uh, the, and there is definite issues that need addressing. But that's that for this video, and I'll be back on Thursday with the uh, monthly update video for the channel. And uh, as well as that, I'll be doing my annual Q&A. So uh, if you've got any questions for us, just uh, get them in the comments below, and I'll answer them as best I can. But until then, take care, and I'll see you later.